Ola is an open source monetization platform for developers that aims to provide a compliant and cost-effective alternative to services like Lemon Squeezy, Stripe, and Paddle. Founded in 2022 by Burke Jenstrom, Ola is on a mission to support developers from receiving their first donation all the way through to IPO and beyond. The platform offers extensive financial services like crowdfunding, memberships, products and subscriptions, and as the merchant of record, Ola handles all the messy tax requirements for you. The best part? Since they're dev first, you can interact with everything through a clear, understandable Understandable API with great documentation. On top of that, the entire code base is open source on GitHub and the Polar team and community are very active on Discord. To celebrate their V1 release, Polar have sponsored this video for me to take you on a rapid tour of everything the platform has to offer, so make sure to hold on to your hats. Before I get started, help celebrate the launch with me and go and give Polar an upvote on Product Hunt by clicking the link on screen or in the description. Get started by heading to polar.sh and clicking Get Started. I'd recommend signing up with GitHub. Enter a name for your Polar organization and customize your Polar URL. Choose which Polar features you'd like to have enabled before clicking Create. You'll then be dropped into your Polar dashboard. From here, the first thing I recommend doing is setting up your payout method so you can get paid. Click Finance in the sidebar and head to the Payout Account tab. Click Create New Account and link either your Stripe or Open Collective account by following the prompts. If you're planning on using Polar programmatically, click your profile picture and head to your settings page to set up a personal access token. Give it a name, select the scopes you'd like your token to have, and set an expiration time. If you're not sure what scopes you need, keep watching to see which API features stand out to you. The API docs are all available at docs.polar.sh and the API itself is currently at api.polar.sh slash v1. You can also use an official Polar SDK. At the time of writing, the SDK is available for JavaScript, TypeScript and Python, but more are on the way in the coming weeks. Many actions on Polar can trigger webhooks. Set these up by going to your organization settings and clicking Add Endpoint. Enter your webhook URL and select a webhook format. You can choose to receive the raw JSON data, or you can send certain notifications straight through to Discord or Slack in real time. Choose or generate a super secure webhook secret. Select the events you'd like to receive webhooks for and click Create. As we go through the video, I'll mention any relevant API routes or webhooks alongside their respective features. Create your first product by heading to the Products tab and clicking the plus icon. Give your product a name and a description, then choose the pricing model for your product. You can choose to charge a one-time fee or charge a subscription. Subscriptions can have monthly pricing, yearly pricing, or both. Finally, add some product images and choose or create the benefits your product will provide. Benefits can be totally custom, or you can use one of Polar's integrated benefits, such as automatic Discord invites, access to private GitHub repos, file downloads, license keys, sponsorship placement in your newsletter or GitHub readme, and more. Finally, click Create Product to make it live. You can also manage products and benefits through the API. Benefits live on the slash benefits endpoint and can be got, listed, created, updated, or deleted, as well as allowing you to read which user has a specific benefit through the Benefit Grant API. The slash product endpoint allows you to perform CRUD operations on your product and manage the benefits associated with each product. As for webhooks, there are creation and update webhooks for both products and benefits. When someone purchases a one-off product, you'll receive order.created and you can receive subscription.created and subscription.updated webhooks to help manage your subscription lifecycle. You can also manage your downloadable files using the slash files endpoint or your license keys via slash license keys. People can now purchase your product and subscriptions through your public page on Polar. But if you want to handle these things yourself, you can create a checkout session with the slash checkout endpoint. Polar uses Stripe under the hood, so you'll get a link to a Stripe hosted payment page for your customer to complete their payment. Polar will also offer a more customizable checkout experience very soon. Once you've started selling, you'll see orders and subscriptions appear in the sales tab on your dashboard. The analytics tab will give you a deeper look into what you're selling and how you're growing. These analytics are also available using the slash metrics endpoint in the API, and you can list your orders or retrieve information about a specific order using the slash orders endpoint. But hang on, if Polar uses Stripe, why should I not just use Stripe myself? Firstly, as you've seen, Polar takes care of a lot of the heavy lifting for you. You don't have to build automation for file downloads, license keys, or Discord or GitHub integrations, and there are more benefits to come. As I'll show you in a minute, Polar also has a whole suite of tools for open source maintainers that you won't get anywhere else. But more importantly, unlike Stripe, Polar will act as the merchant of record, dealing with value added tax on your behalf. Tax can be a huge headache, but Polar is set up to handle it for customers in all of these countries so you can sell around the globe without having to lift a finger. There are other options available for this, like Lemon Squeezy or Paddle, but they're both closed source and don't offer as many non-payments features as Polar. And on top of that, Polar is cheaper. Anyone who signs up now will be locked into the introductory price of 4% plus 40 cents per transaction, up to a whole 20% cheaper than the alternatives. For application developers, Polar can also act as an OAuth 2 provider for your app or website, giving you full control over your customer experience. You'll want the slash OAuth 2 
two endpoints for that. And it's not all just product and subscriptions. The Polar team's love for open source runs much deeper. Polar is open source itself. Check out the GitHub link in the description. And if you're an open source maintainer, you can use Polar to receive donations and issue funding, as well as rewarding your contributors. Assuming you enabled donations during onboarding or have enabled them since, you'll see a donation box on your organization's public page. Fans of your work will be able to use this for one-off donations to you and your software. Once you start to receive donations, they'll appear on the donations page in your dashboard and will trigger a donation.created webhook. Naturally, donations aren't the only way to fund your open source work. You can also use Polar to set up issue funding. If you didn't connect your GitHub account at the beginning, head to your settings and connect it now. Then, click issues in the menu on the dashboard to get an overview of the issues on your repos. Head to the badge tab to set up your funding badge, which Polar will automatically add to your issues description. Edit what's visible on the badge, set a minimum funding amount, and set the split for public rewards. This allows you to automatically reward external contributors with a percentage of the money pledged. On this page, you can also choose whether the badge will only be shown on issues with a fund label or on all issues for a repo. Then, head back to the overview tab to manually add badges to any issues you like. You'll also be able to edit the badge, funding goal, and contribution split on a per-issue basis. People can pledge to fund the issue, and you and your contributors will receive the award once the issue is closed. Earlier, I mentioned that you can sell README advertisements as a benefit on your Polar products. This requires a special GitHub action, and you can find all the details on that in the Polar docs under Sponsorship Placements. Polar also offers other ways to customize your GitHub repo. As an official GitHub funding partner, you can add Polar to your funding.yaml to display your Polar account as a sponsorship option in your repo. Want something a little more dynamic? Click Promote in the menu to check out Polar's README embeds, allowing you to display your products, issues, and posts with a simple embed code. Posts? Yes. Polar allows you to create posts and a newsletter on their platform totally free. Head to the newsletter tab and click the plus icon to get started. Polar articles support GitHub Markdown as well as custom components like paywalls, subscriptions, and automatic advertisements. Click preview to see what your post will look like on Polar or publish to set up your published settings. Choose to publish immediately, schedule your post, whether or not you want to email your subscribers, and even whether the post should only be available to paid subscribers who are paying for a product with a premium post's benefit. If your post is public and you've included the paywall component, content within that block will also only be available to those people with the premium posts benefit, allowing you to monetize your audience a little further. Once published, posts will be available to view on your public page. Manage your articles via the slash articles endpoint. If you have a site built with Astro, you can also use Polar's Astro integration, courtesy of yours truly, to sync your posts from Astro to Polar. I'll leave a link to that, as well as the source code for my portfolio site, which has been using it for months, in the video description. Once again, thanks to Polar for sponsoring this video and letting me gush about what is genuinely one of my favorite open source products at the moment. The team is great and I really believe in their mission. Truth be told, I would have made this video even if they hadn't sponsored it. Make sure to sign up now to be grandfathered in on the lower price while it lasts. Also, head to Product Hunt to give Polar an upvote and help them on their journey to making open source a viable career for every developer. If you have any questions, feel free to ping them to me on Twitter or ask them down in the comments. And if you've enjoyed this impatient devs video, you might like the one I did on Gleam. That video is on the left. YouTube though, they reckon you'll like the one on the right more. It's up to you. See ya!